Now at four, a new indictment in the murder of Josue Flores as police arrest a familiar face in the case. Today, a grand jury indicted Andre Jackson for the murder of Josue Flores. Justice is justice, even if it's delayed. What led to today's announcement and the reaction from law enforcement and the community? Today's arrest is one police hope will solve a case, close a case that they've been trying to solve for more than three years now. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. I'm Keith Garvin. And I'm Christine Noel. The case has been long and complicated from the very start. Back in May of 2016, police arrested a man one day after Josue's death. That man was identified as the murder suspect, but his alibi was confirmed and he was released two days later. Then in June of that year, Andre Jackson was arrested and charged with murder. Those charges remained until July of 2017 when prosecutors determined the DNA evidence could not prove Jackson's guilt without a reasonable doubt. Fast forward to today, we learned Jackson was once again arrested and newly tested DNA evidence led to his indictment in the case. We have live coverage on the arrest and reaction from the community where Josue lived. We want to begin with Robert Arnold, who is live outside the county jail downtown with more on today's announcement. Robert. Andre Jackson has not yet made his first court appearance. Nonetheless, Houston police and the Harris County District Attorney's Office say they believe the charges against him will stick this time. These new charges come from DNA tests conducted on evidence collected the first time Jackson was arrested. We now believe that we can bring justice to Josue's family. District Attorney Kim Ogg says a grand jury indicted 30-year-old Andre Jackson for the 2016 murder of Josue Flores, who was stabbed walking home from school. This is the second time Jackson has been charged with this murder. The first time, the DA's office dismissed the charges, saying DNA evidence linking Jackson to the crime was inconclusive. Ogg says had they pursued that original charge and Jackson was found not guilty or his conviction overturned on appeal, that would have been the end of the case. Then we would not now be able to pursue that same murder because of double jeopardy. So what's changed? Sources say DNA evidence collected from a jacket the last time Jackson was arrested were retested again by a lab in Florida. That lab used advanced DNA testing methods and those results were presented to a grand jury which handed down an indictment. The community didn't give up, the family didn't give up, and neither did we. Aug says the new round of tests provided much more conclusive results. Houston police say despite the stumbling blocks, Jackson was never in the clear. He always was, was a suspect, a person of interest. Jackson maintains his innocence, and even posting a video to YouTube last month. Quite frankly, I'm just tired of hearing my name associated with this case. And Jackson recently had been trying to get his personal property back from the Houston Police Department. His attorney filed a handful of motions asking the judge to order the return of that property. The judge had originally granted those motions. It wasn't until HBD stepped in and asked the judge to reconsider. And of course, that all goes to the point of the material that is being retested. And we will get into that at six o'clock. Reporting live from the Harris County Jail in downtown, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Right.